Not only are motorbike engines constantly getting better and more powerful, but bike technology and design are always adapting and evolving. The latest models always manage to bring a new level of innovation to the road. Number 10. Priding itself as the new American standard, the Indian FTR 1200S launched late last year. With its race-inspired design and iconic style, the 1200S is as much fun to look at as it is to ride. The bike capitalizes on one of the most recent motorcycle trends on Instagram, the revival of flat track racing, which until now, no manufacturer had capitalized on through a street legal factory option. The 1200S has a liquid-cooled 1203cc 60-degree V-twin engine and a tubular steel trellis frame for a total dry weight of 489 pounds. The street tracker aesthetic is helped along by an 18-inch 10-spoke wheel in back and a 19-inch 10-spoke up front with a tread pattern that recalls the bike's flat track genesis. Indian claims it makes 120 horsepower at 8,250 RPM and 85 foot-pounds of torque at 6,000 RPM. Pricing for this model starts out at $15,499. Number 9. The blacked-out design of the Indian Chief Dark Horse really makes a statement. Black smoke paint covers everything from the tip of the heavily valanced front fender to the 16-inch wheels, handlebar, and controls, bodywork, and right back to the rear fender tip. Essentially, only the edges of the cylinder fins are spared the blackout treatment. Using a Thunderstroke 111 CI air-cooled V-twin engine, the bike delivers an exhilarating ride as the motor's undersquare dimensions mean the engine is built for torque. Although it has a stripped-down style, it still comes with key features like ABS, cruise control, and keyless ignition. Rear cylinder deactivation automatically shuts off the rear cylinder when the bike is stopped for enhanced comfort in slow-moving traffic. As soon as you hit the throttle, the rear cylinder seamlessly reactivates for full power. Prices for the Indian Chief Dark Horse start at $18,499. Number 8. The Fat Bob offers a more modern styling, but it is still unmistakably Harley-Davidson. The bike is one of the few Dyna models that still made the crossover into the all-new 2018 Softail lineup. The fenders are cut back to the bone with the yarmulke-sized front fender and rear fender that just barely catches the struts for an unimpeded view of the rear hoop. A tapered P-pad joins the solo saddle for two-up capability, at least on paper. The bike also has the tubular steel Softail frame, inverted forks for better handling, and cast aluminum wheels with fat tires. The Fat Bob offers a modern interpretation of the classic headlight nacelle that uses a trapezoid-shaped opening to house a set of powerful LED headlights. Combined with the massive torque of a Milwaukee 8107 or a 114 big twin engine, the Fat Bob is aiming to shake up the status quo. Pricing on this one will run you around $17,000. Number 7. Unveiled late last year, the Black Arrow, whose Kvarna Svartbilen 701 draws inspiration from the flat track scene. The jet black color bike features sharp lines and geometric shapes, with a flat topped 3.2 gallon fuel tank that flares outward into two oval shapes bearing the 701 logo. The intention with the Svartbilen 701 was to strip away all unnecessary gimmicks and create a simple yet progressive mix of classic thinking and modern design. In the transition from cafe racer to flat tracker, the Svartbilen 701 gained a unique front headlight mask with an LED headlight, fork shrouds, seat, tail section, and handlebars to give it a more upright and rowdy appearance. The engine is a 692.7 cc SOHC dual spark four valve single derived from the KTM 690 Duke T. Pricing for this model starts at $12,000. Number 6. With a curb weight of 611 pounds and a fuel capacity of 5.3 gallons, the Kawasaki Vulcan 900 Custom was built for the highways and is ready to roll. It has custom styling with a teardrop tank, parallel slash cut pipes, pinstripe wheels, and engine fins. The engine itself delivers ample roll-on power using a fuel-injected 903cc V-twin engine. 
The Vulcan 900 is designed with a tall front wheel, drag-style chrome handlebars, but despite this appearance, it still offers a smooth, comfortable ride. That's because the wide drag bars enable plenty of leverage from the low-slung seat, and forward-mounted foot pegs complete the relaxed riding stance. The Vulcan is the most economical of the bikes so far, coming in at just $8,499. With its sleek look, quality production, and powerful ride, it's hard to justify paying more for another bike. Number 5 The Triumph Street Scrambler offers fun, easy riding, and with 120 accessories, is easy to personalize. It's perfect for those looking to do some off-road riding, as at the flick of a switch, the ABS and traction control can be turned off and on. This versatility is why it has earned such a phenomenal reputation worldwide. The technology hidden within the Street Scrambler, for example, its new road and rain, or a torque assist clutch for lighter lever pull, makes it feel remarkably modern. These rider assist functions help bring a level of sophistication to the Scrambler that increases its appeal to both new and returning motorcycle riders. Its 900cc liquid-cooled engine was designed and tuned to deliver high torque, and its dry weight is just 437 pounds. Pricing for the Triumph Street Scrambler starts at $11,000. Number 4 The VMAX is a cruiser motorcycle that's been manufactured by Yamaha since 1985, known for its powerful 70-degree V4 engine, shaft drive, and distinctive styling. The 2019 model was unveiled in October of last year and offers unique, oxidized titanium-coated 52mm front fork tubes and magnesium engine side covers. The 18-inch radial wheels are particularly distinctive, and the design almost makes it look like two circular woodcutters when at a standstill. The VMAX's unrelenting power comes from a 1679cc liquid-cooled 65-degree V4, a compact engine that looks as powerful as it is. A lightweight aluminum chassis puts the engine low and forward for mass centralization so the bike can handle both curves and straightaways to perfection. In addition, the VMAX borrows liberally from advanced sport bike technology, so it features a slipper clutch, wave-style brake discs, ABS, and complete suspension adjustability front and rear. Pricing on this one will run you around $18,000. Number 3 Unveiled in 2018, the Honda CB1000R is a head-turner. From its round, multi-chamber LED headlamp, liberal use of metal and signature single-sided alloy swing arm, it offers an effortless cool factor that some of the other wilder, more aggressive bikes can't. It feels every bit as good as it looks behind the handlebar, too, offering an ultra-polished riding experience that's above others in its class. Just because it's not as wild doesn't mean it has less power. And the CB1000R's powerful 998cc DOHC four-cylinder engine definitely makes a powerful statement. It's noticeably slimmer than the previous model, but that makes it feel more manageable. The bike also has a good distance between the handlebar and the seat, so although it's a sporty bike, it can be ridden comfortably for hours. Whichever way it's approached, aesthetics, emotions, performance, technology, the CB1000R is hard to ignore. Pricing for the standard starts at $12,999. Number 2 The Ducati XDFL labels itself as a techno cruiser, a bike that projects the concept of cruiser into modern times. Its long, low, and muscular shapes and technologically cutting-edge components really reinforce that futuristic vibe. However, the short and modern frame is still immediately recognizable as the classic Ducati trellis frame. There are also references to past designs. For example, the headlight is a modern reinterpretation of that of the naked Ducati. The wheels on the XDFL are a work of art, especially the spin on the back wheel, which is hypnotizing at times. The bike is powered by the Ducati Testistretta DVT 1262 engine which produces 152 horsepower and 93 foot-pounds of torque. Its 40-degree lean angle allows for dynamic performance and exciting riding. Number 1 
The Confederate FA-13 Combat Bomber is worlds apart from any of the other bikes on our list. It's a feast for the eyes and the soul. Made from 100% military spec billet and with a stealth matte anodized finish. The Combat Bomber is driven by a powerful V-twin engine with an engine capacity of 2163 cc, providing 160 foot-pounds of torque and a top speed of 160 miles per hour. The brown custom leather seat gives the illusion that the rider is straddling some type of mechanical beast more than a motorbike. It feels alive. But such a rare animal comes at a high price, with the final five remaining Confederate bikes up for sale at $135,000 apiece.